Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, I'm just Hello, Jess. One minute. Hey, Magna. Oh, we've got people saying hello in the chat. Nice to see you. Thanks for being nice here. Nice to see you all. We're just on the hour, so uh, yeah, I'll give it to one past and then we'll launch in. Hello from France. Hello to you. Okay, I've got 501, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to our MetaBase uh, webinar today. Uh, my name's Jess. I'm the product marketing manager here at MetaBase, and today we're joined by Magnus from Lime Technologies, one of Europe's leading CRMs. Uh, Magnus is going to walk us through how they use MetaBase for embedded analytics and how they match their brand to that. So first, a quick overview of the agenda today. Uh, Magnus is going to give us an intro into Lime CRM and cover why they needed a solution for embedded analytics. Then he'll go through how Lime have embedded a white labeled version of MetaBase into their product with custom branding, single sign on and more. And then we'll have some time for some Q&A. So be sure to add your questions to the questions tab as we go, um, preferably instead of the chat so that no questions get lost. Uh, but for now, um, yeah, love seeing the hellos come in. Um, let us know where you're from um, and what you're hoping to learn today. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll try and cover that. Um, and feel free to keep dropping those comments and thoughts in as we go. Um, and also the reactions tab is a pretty cool thing as well. Um, and finally, this call will be recorded and sent to you via email and we'll also upload on YouTube if you want to come back to it a bit later. Uh, but for now, I'll hand it off to Magnus, uh, if you want to kick it off. Sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, amazing to be here and uh, joining this fireside chat. Um, I'm going to start by sharing my screen so that you'll see some slides. Uh, don't worry, it won't be a PowerPoint uh, marathon today. Um, we're actually going to spend some time on me actually showing how we're how we have embedded and um, white labeled MetaBase in our products, and hopefully spend most of the time there because seeing is believing, as you all know. So my name is uh, Magnus. I work as a product marketing manager at Lime Technologies, and uh, Lime Technologies is not at all about scooters, electrical scooters. There is a lot of people that think that we do that, but uh, no, we're actually one of the, the leading European CRM suppliers. Um, and what, what do we do or what, why, why do we exist? Well, we, we believe that um, customer experience is the number one thing to succeed as a company. And we go all in to create a world where every customer experience exceeds expectations, making customer lives easier, not only through spot on software, but also uh, with on point expertise. So we have basically three different platforms, three different uh, software suites that we, uh, that we sell and deliver and educate our customers in. We have a um, low touch uh, sales enablement tool called Lime Go. We have a big CRM platform called Lime CRM, which is our biggest product, stands for 80% of our revenue, uh, most of our customers, um, and it's flexible. We tailor it to our customer needs, and we have specific industry verticals that we focus on, such as utility, consultancy, membership, and real estate, among others. Uh, and last but not least, one of our platforms is a um, platform called UserLike, which is omni-channel messaging, um, live chat, and um, well, communicating in a very efficient and great way with your customers. And um, we have software that we uh, that we sell and deliver, but we also have an expert service organization that makes sure that the customer gets what they uh, what they need and what they have been promised. And we do uh, do everything in house, developing our products ourselves, selling, implementing, all parts of the chain. So that's just very brief about us. We started in uh, 1990. We are not uh, a startup, um, so we're old in the game. 
started by three three people in Lund in Sweden um, that well they realized after their studies that when they are when they started working as uh, consultants within programming then they um, they realized that they didn't have a system to keep track of their customers so they created one themselves and uh, luckily enough that pro that software they created they showed it to their customers and they realized that they didn't have any software to keep track of their customers so the thing that they used internally was the product they created sold and that is basically the background history of um of our crm uh, software now uh, we are a bit more people uh, we are uh, 400 people we are uh, we're around in seven countries in europe we are um yeah we have three different platforms we're a public company and uh, we're growing uh, very much and uh, well we are also doing it with uh, profit and uh, have a lot of happy users so crm what what is that all about and like why is that important well as we see it uh, all companies have a customer journey a process that that all customers go through as they interact with with your company from you know an initial pre-customer lead and um, generating new leads first inter interactions you go through a deal process you deliver something that has been sold you can need of course maybe to support them uh, after they they are customers and then working with retaining uh, activities to make sure that your customer base stays around because as you all know it costs a lot more to gain new customers than um, than keeping the ones you have so what we do is that we make sure that all parts of this customer journey is uh, handled in a exceeding expectations of the customers that that you have so from this customer journey where we built our platform and make sure that we have parts in our platform that solves different needs in the customer journey and we know that i mean co companies customer journeys they look different so therefore our platform is very customizable basically no of our no customer that have lime crm they have uh, to some extent different applications so it's not a um, standardized uh, platform it's a customizable pl platform which you can configure and customize for the needs that you have and for all of the parts in the customer journey we work with behavioral change because that's an important part to make sure that your crm uh, actually gets the value that 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 you hope and one very important part is also this is maybe where we're going to spend the most of the time to make sure that you can get insights and analytics from all the data you have across the customer journey and that is where metabase comes into uh, to place so a uh, brief background about who we are what we do uh, i hope you get the the gist of it so um let's talk a bit about the love story lime technologies and uh, metabase and uh, this is uh, and i call it the love story because i uh, we're <laughs> we're big fans of what uh, what you do at metabase and the product and i'm going to give you a bit about the story and why we are where we are in our relationship so this love story it started uh, actually six years ago the first date we were um, a product team that were looking for a bi tool to um, gain insights in our product analytics so how are our uh, what are our customers doing in our in our platform and we were we did get that uh, piped into a database but we didn't have any tool to actually visualize all of this data and we were looking around and i would say it was kind of love at first sight because um we had previously in-house been working with another bi tool but that was very complex and we realized we couldn't apply that tool for our needs when looking at the product and analytics in the product team so we uh, scanned the market and um, uh, found metabase 
and uh, we loved it from from the beginning because the simplicity in using the tool combined with the powers for what you could actually do was a kind of a perfect fit for us and it aligns uh, in how we saw like what the product should be in in terms of our own products so it was a very good good fit so we started to applying that on our product analytics in house and then we realized that this tool is, you know, this is great. What if our customers could use this tool for the data they have in our CRM software? So what we did was actually to try it out in our internal CRM solution. We are dog fooding our own products, of course, and we have a CRM so uh, solution in-house that we use for everything. So we took the uh, chance of uh, creating, you know, the scripts in in um, creating the metadata and the, all the attributes synced from our CRM database to metabase, and then we started to play around with it, and um, it felt like a very good match. We get got a lot of uh, value directly out of, out of it because we could visualize uh, things in our own database that we previously had such a hard time actually doing uh, with the previous tool that we had. So we re realized that, okay, um, we see that we have a great fit when it comes to the product, the products, uh, Metabase and Lime CRM. And let's uh, see if we could actually white label it and uh, get it out to our customers. So we, we talked with uh, uh, Samir, the CEO of Metabase and um, found a good, good uh, setup. And um, then 2020, we launched the first white label version of Metabase called Lime BI to our on-premise customers. So we have both customers that have their own setup, um, uh, their own servers. And then we, of course, have a lot of uh, cloud customers. And our cloud offering is, of course, the, 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 where we see the majority of new customers. But we started with our bigger on-premise customers. And we... we uh, directly got the feedback that this was a good you know product market fit the needs that that uh, they had um matched what uh, we could uh, what, we, what we we could what the value we could create with Lion bi so then uh, one year later we launched we worked on on uh, the setup for uh, Lion bi for our cloud customers reaching a bigger customer base uh, making it uh, easier to uh, to to embed uh, Lion BI in our products um, and yeah that 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 kind of uh, what was made it took off for uh, when it when it came to the number of customers actually actually uh, using Lion BI and then now we're 2023 living living happily ever after uh, what we're doing now is that we're of course, and this is one of the, the the benefits, of course, in not building your own uh, your own tool. Actually, white labeling is something that that someone else has done. Is that we don't need engineers to spend time on adding new uh, features. We are constantly upgrading the versions of, uh, of Metabase, and we're uh, uh, I would say maybe one. I'm, I'm probably one of the earliest one to go through the release notes, which with every release, and uh, we're um, uh, we're we're super happy for uh, for that gaining new capabilities in our product through Metabase. Uh, it's kind of an awesome awesome setup, and what we're actually doing now as well is that we have an expert service organization. And they are um, they are organized in different teams, and one team is actually like responsible for delivering Lime BI to our customers. So they have even more in-depth knowledge in uh, BI, uh, how to work with uh, with uh, with dashboards and questions, and being kind of the in-house experts in uh, BI here at Lime. Um, that's yeah pretty pretty new new setup that we uh, that we have um so that is the the love story between lime and uh and metabase i hope you understand uh where where we come from and where we are right now um, i just got a quick question for you magnus um did you ever consider building your own solution for bi or was that something that 
you kind of knew Metabase would take you in the direction of from the start? We we uh, we were having a lot of discussions in how we were supposed to handle like the big bigger topic of like uh, enabling insights and analytics for our customer base, and we discussed different topics. So before Metabase, we actually had another add-on to our product, uh, which we which also was kind of a white label version with one of your competitors. And um, we were that that was kind of like should we continue on that path with them? But but that was that was the problem with the simplicity in use, where everything that that our customers wanted to kind of change in their in their uh, dashboards needed engineers or someone highly technical to do it. So it was not it was not enabling the data for um, for for the entire organization. So. And that was kind of not not an option. Then we discussed like, okay, should we should we um, build something our own that kind of like stands upon uh, you know some JavaScript framework or or uh, something like that? But I mean, back back then uh, we were we were very much focused on our cloud offering on our new client that was completely web-based we have a had a desktop client back then so we felt that we were i mean this is not our this was not our core um area of expertise and then it became quite obvious that okay if we start trying metabase for our internal lime CRM solution that that kind of gives us a good understanding if it is a good fit but we definitely discussed various options in how to uh, how to proceed with it but um but uh i mean the, the the balance between the power of the product and the simplicity in use and also kind of the technical platform where we we have a sql database in the background um that where we have all the data and the, the easiness of like kind of getting that up and running um made it made it a very good uh, very good fit so but yeah we uh, we uh, discussed a lot of different uh, options when it came to that awesome yeah, okay i don't know if there if you have any other questions just uh in regard to this or not just yet no i think we can uh, carry no? on. thank you Okay, so um, let's uh, move on to probably the most uh, interesting part of uh, of the session. So I'm gonna share with you how how this actually works. I mean, what what do we do with the white labeled metabase version for Lime CRM uh, that we uh, that we um, enable for our customers? So I'm gonna switch to my browser i hope that you still see my uh, screen um so what you see right now is our uh, our product and the user interface in our web client for lime crm so the first thing that 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 you see when you when logging in is a start page right and you can you can call it the dashboard if you like but we have different kind of like start pages where you start your day and we can add more start pages depending on different parts of the organization. So a typical uh, use case for our customers is that they handle the sales process in Lime CRM, one of the parts in the customer journey, right? So, so we have a sales start page here, but we have also other start pages if you Handle your support tickets, or uh, uh, yeah, want to work with your quotations that you have. So, but on this start page, we have a we have different widgets that solve that uh, solves different needs. So we get directly information about okay, how many prospects do we have? What's the value of current quotations? And we can see the budget and the KPIs that we're setting up, and well, see the pipeline for the different statuses. But we also have the possibility, and this is totally customizable, to then embed Lime BI dashboards directly on our start page. So what you see down here is actually a Metabase uh, dashboard white labeled to Lime BI, where we then create the questions for that specific 
uh, needs of the part of the organization, in this case, the sales organization. So we directly here can see, okay, how many deals did we win this month? And then compared to last month, which is awesome, knowing how we are doing compared to last month. Of course, this can be done with, you know, last year or, or um, last quarter or whatever you, whatever we want to do. But comparing it to last month, we see the hit rate. And this is uh, super important because uh, keeping a like a uh, track on how you're doing compared how many how many deals do you win compared to the ones that that you lose basically um average deal size and the trend when it comes to that who which sales reps are performing best um how many deals have we won uh, month by month this uh, the past 3 years and so how we're we doing this month compared to the same month 2022 and to 2021. Uh, looking at the forecast, of course, understanding how the entire pipe looks ahead, something that is very important for a sales manager in coaching their sales reps. And then something that's really valuable is connecting the forecast to the budget that you set up uh, for each sales rep. And what is what we really like is the possibility to then uh, filter on this data uh, directly in the in the dashboard. So if I want to look at okay, how are we doing in Lund? Uh, of course, uh, demo ghost here. Uh, I think I just need to refresh the page. Sorry for that. But um, making the the filtering that's a super feature, and not only the filtering but also the linked filters. That was a, I think it's a fairly new feature or. Uh, but so let's say I'm filtering on uh, Lund, the office in Lund. Then we get, of course, but only the, the numbers for Lund. And then the coworkers in this list is only the coworkers that uh, are connected to the Lund office. So th that, that makes it so much easier to, you know, filter on what you're, uh, what you're looking for. That has made a, made a huge difference, actually. But so what we do in uh, in our um, in our user interface is to embed the not only dashboards from Lime BI on our start pages, so you get access to them, like in the context where you are, but we also make it possible to uh, embed these uh, questions and dashboards for specific uh, for specific objects in our database. So. I'm going to show you an example. Um, let's say that I want to uh, go and see how we're doing in a specific uh, for a specific company. This is Vandalay Industries. Now, this is like the company card. This is where you get an overview of this specific company. What has been going on? Uh, what deals do we have in progress? Uh, what orders have we done? Tickets, you name it totally up to the customer needs in how we visualize this. But what we can do is also create dashboards and questions that where we pipe the value of the company and only show relevant information for that specific company. So here we see the orders visualized um, month by month or, or actually year by year for the different uh, status of the orders uh, for Vandalay Industries. So we can like embed the different parts in, uh, in Lime BI, not only on our start page, but also in, in this context, uh, which is uh, super powerful. I'm gonna show you an example that is a bit more you know, um, edgy maybe than, than a sales scenario. Okay, so we can, we can uh, embed and show, you know, dashboards and questions directly in our in our platform, but of course, um, we we give this uh, tool in the hands of our customers as well, and then we use single sign-on for accessing uh, Lime BI. So in our menu here, you can simply press a button, and then you will end up in our white label version of MetaBase. So we've added our logo, our colors. We have our fonts. It doesn't say MetaBase anywhere. Sorry about that, but yeah, you know, important with branding, right? So this is this is where where you you do 
the magic, so to say. So this is where our, our customers, they crunch the data, they create the questions that they want to ask for their data that they have with the setup that they have. So I'm um, just gonna give you an example on, on how this works. So of course here I have the dashboard that was embedded in, in, uh, in the application. So the start page that you saw for sales and sales uh, management. But um, of course I can then create a um, new question. So let's say um, I want to look at uh, the closed deals for 2023, right? I saw it only for a uh, year by year, but I want to zoom in on, you know, only the ones that are for this year. So we, um, we have a recurring, of course, it's automatically synced the metadata from Lime CRM with the correct attributes in Metabase. So um, we only have like the customer facing um, tables and fields with the correct labels and everything in uh, Lime BI. So you don't you don't see like system tables or anything like that. You only see the data that is like customer facing or user facing. So I want to see the uh, all deals. I want to only see the ones that are active. I want to only see the ones that are in the status agreement. Uh, I only want to see the one where order and loss date is um, this uh this year right so this gives me an overview of all of the deals that we've closed this year i want to summarize the value of those deal and then i want to see those grouped by um when they are um, when they were closed by month like that so visualizing that but i of course i want to see it as a uh, bar chart like this so it gives me a good good uh, good understanding on how we have performed this up until may this year right so simply uh, saving this uh, one deals this year placing it in the right collection and of course i want to add this to a dashboard so let's just add it to my start page right here um and Let's put it next to this one like this. So now we have our one deals this year chart, right? Saving that. But do you know what would be really great? It would be if I can see the outcome of how we have performed this year compared to our budget goals that we have quite an important metric for you as a sales organization to know how you're doing compared to the goals that you've set up so i've already like prepared as a tv chef uh, that question right but uh what we really what, what is really awesome is the power in um combining different different questions with with each other so in this case i want to see uh, i want to add the goals that we've set up so here we have that sum of monthly goals one deals super easy to do saving that and um well here we have it actually now i see that maybe i don't want to have a split axis so let's just you know change that one um, and uh, wow we can see that we did a really good may and it's not uh, it's uh, or actually we don't we have a lot of work to do when it comes to may with uh, one day left we need to increase our selling with like 70000 in in euros but anything is possible <laughs> um so when i'm when i'm in this mode in line bi of course now i'm changing a start page or a dashboard called start page and you know going to Lime CRM and our application, when I do that, it of course shows the same thing in our uh, in in our on our embedded um, uh, start pages, and I mean super easy to do. And 
what we've done is that it doesn't require you know uh, code to set up these uh, dashboards inside the inside Lime CRM. It's uh, config uh, config only, so it's not like limited to uh, to uh, engineers to do that. I don't know if uh, just if you have any questions uh, uh, so far, or if you want me to uh, continue on. I do have a question, actually. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot yeah. a little bit here. Um, I'm going to ask okay. you if you have any uh, examples of uh, customers who have had a lot of success with being able to access embedded analytics like this. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, there's uh, there's tons of uh, value that we create with this. I mean, now we are looking at, uh, you know, this is kind of a overview of of. Um, a, da a dashboard that kind of gives you the insights in yeah in how we're doing but what's really cool and what what some of our customers are doing is that they they use they use the insights within their their processes so one example which i'm going to show you is um one of our key uh, segments that we work on is uh, with consultancy companies right and cons when when they uh, in their sales process, it's very important to know um, the kind of the how you are supposed to price the consultants that you're selling. So what we've done in that setup, and this is a different Lime CRM solution we're looking at, but what we've done there is to actually embedded insights on the deal. In, in the deal process. So when a user is handling the sales process, they directly can see in what price range have we lost or won deals upon. So that makes it much easier for them to pitch the right price to the customer. So it's it's not only you know getting the insights um, kind of retroactive, it's more like a part of their process. And they can also, when when they have kind of signed the deal, then they uh, can look at um, the assignment that 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 is and uh, actually look at okay using it as a match function to know what uh, consultants are available for the assignment. So it's not only part of you know um, uh, I need to. Also refresh here, sorry about that, uh, you know, demo ghosts. But uh, it's not only part of the sales process where they get the kind of proactive insights that helps them in, you know, pitching the right price. Also when it comes to then the delivery, um, sorry about that, uh, it's actually somewhere else. But uh, um, it's uh, it's also it's also in the like forecasting of uh, what kind of uh, what kind of um, yeah resources are available uh, in the for the assignment. So I think that's a very cool example. Another example is where we we embed the 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 KPIs in the uh, in Lime CRM, but then they use that as a report to the management team and to the board in in some some ways instead of you know filling out excel sheets uh, back and forth you know um, everything is up to date it's available at the at the fingertips and they can easily then just <clears throat> send that to members of the board prior to the meeting that they're having which makes it faster they don't need to spend as much time and the data quality is also like up to date because it requires them to have you know correct data in the crm system so that's kind of two examples of uh, of of how we um, of how our, the success of this when it comes to to customers and we are i mean now we're looking at uh, one example of of uh, using it for uh, for a sales in the context of a sales uh, manager or sales rep, uh, uh, but of course, as this is a flexible platform, Lime CRM that is, and of course MetaBase as well. But we can we can apply um, like the the functionality for all of our kind of needs that our customers have. For example, 
looking at ticketing, we have a separate ticketing dashboard or support dashboard where we then can see exactly like how many tickets have we created per type. I mean, in you versus uh, closed tickets, uh, what's the source of each tickets directly on, on that page. And then that is a perfect way to, to uh, get insights for, uh, for uh, support members and, and uh, support managers. So we apply uh, Line BI for our different customer uh, segments and tailor that to their needs. And that is super helpful and super valuable. Yeah, this is great. Any, uh, was there any other question? We do have some questions coming in in the, um, in the question tab uh, now. I don't know if you're ready to cover those or if you still have a bit more that you no, want to I, So I think I've covered, uh, I've, I've covered, covered the main uh, thing. Uh, I, can sp I can speak uh, more uh, many hours about this, but I, I think uh, we can uh, keep it uh, Keep it at that, um, but um, yeah. Uh, okay. So let's let's head to the questions. Yeah, let's take some questions. Okay, uh, first one. Uh, let's. I'm going to go with the one with the most upvotes uh, to start with. Uh, how complex is your own users' data permission scheme, and can you share some good tips for a company that has a quite complex data permission scheme and embedded dashboards and cards? Uh, yeah, so we have uh, basically what we have. We also have uh, like uh, security policies, which means that not all users are available to see all information. So what we have is that uh, I mean, first of all, we were using uh, we're using permissions to make sure that uh, that I mean all all of our. You only see, of course, your data for your company, even though you're a cloud user. So that's one part of it. Uh, but then we have security policies as a layer in Lime CRM, which means that if you're not part of the sales organization, well, then then you won't see this information. If 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 you don't have access, you can't access the uh, the companies, for example, uh, that's not part of your uh, your region, um, and. Um, uh, of course, it is possible to to use data sandboxing uh, to make sure that you have uh, role level uh, permissions. Uh, that is not something we have uh, uh, implemented, but uh, something we're uh, we're looking into. But I mean, that is possible to to do as well, com depending on the user attributes that you that you set up. And uh, um, yeah, uh, as I understood, it's not not that hard to do either. So I think that's the way to go. Um, just a follow-up question that I had for that. Um, has has your approach to permissions changed over time or as you've grown or um, introduced more customers? <laughs> um, I would say that uh, our general approach to permissions and like security policies and, you know, making some data only visible to some user groups is uh, that uh, you should avoid it as much as you can. And, uh, it should be transparent. That's kind of part of, you know, that that's how you, you gain most out of it. But but then I'm not naive and say that you always can do it. So um, but we try to we try to really in our implementations of our Lime CRM software, we really uh, try to um, uh, to challenge our customers in. Okay, do you really need to set up that kind of security policies uh, because you know then then i mean the whole part of crm is to share customer data and uh, so so that's 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 how we try to do it but um yeah uh, i don't know if it answered your questions but uh, I, I wouldn't say it has changed over time uh, it has been a kind of a general approach but then of course we know that some companies require it and we can support it but but uh, we try to talk them out of it okay cool um yeah my next question is the cards uh, at the top of the dashboard are those metabase as well uh, no they're actually not there's something called info tiles and they are kind of widgets that we've created and they are and they are actually like links to uh, a more uh, global overview so if i press this i'll get to the global explorer where i see all the prospects 
Um, they are similar. I, I, I mean, they are similar to kind of, you know, trends and uh, things like that, but they have other capabilities uh, built into them that, that, uh, that is not available uh, using Lime BI. But um, um, so they are, they are not uh, part of uh, Lime BI or, or MetaBase to be, yeah. Yeah, okay. Something, some, so something we build ourselves. Cool. It's, it's cool to see that they kind of, uh, they fit together like that. It's pretty seamless, I think. Yeah, and I mean, uh, it, I think the, with uh, making it possible with uh, custom fonts and uh, custom colors and branding and everything, it I mean, feels like an integrate, integrated part of our software, which is kind of the kind of the point as well. The user shouldn't feel that okay, this is another part that looks completely different. It's just like seamlessly integrated, which is hmm. uh, which is awesome. Yeah, really cool. Um, cool. We've got uh, five more minutes here, so if anyone has any more questions, um, please get them into the questions tab um, before we run out of time. And I will just remind you, uh, we have a couple of polls in the polls tab. Um, so please take a moment to uh, comment on those. We would really love to get your input on these webinars. Um, yeah, another question I had for you, uh, Magnus, is uh, whether you have any advice uh, for other companies that are looking at embedding or, or white labeling as well. Yeah, I think when when uh, talking about the story, uh, I think if possible, I, w one thing that has been kind of the success of this is the way that we have been able to dog food it, that we have been able to apply it and try it out internally in our own software that we sell to our customers. And if possible, I think that is super, uh, super valuable. Um, and it also makes it because that me means that our sales reps, they are exposed to, you know, line BI in their every day through the use of our internal solution. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? It means that it, it's so much easier for them to go out and pitch it to a customer when there's when that is something that they use in their everyday life. I mean, it's it's easy to pitch a product you love, right? And the first thing to actually you know love a product is to start using it. So I think that is that will that is uh, my uh, my number one um, uh, recommendation. Of course, not. Everyone sells uh, software that they use themselves, but if possible, uh, I think that is uh, that is the way way to go. Um, and um, I mean, there's different ways of embedding um, embedding data from uh, from Metabase in your application. And I think trying out different like different um, different parts like like we did we we started with okay we should have dashboards on the start page of course that's where you start your day that's where you give the, get the overview but then of course we should also be able to it would be awesome if you could see like customer specific uh, questions when you are like only looking at one specific customer so that was kind of the next part so kind of looking at okay where should we embed it and in what context in our application and like making it context specific is also a, a good way because then then i think it's easier to to understand what you're looking at as well hmm. yeah great um cool we've got a couple of questions here about uh what kind of which plans uh, these features are available on um, and just to be transparent, um, embedding uh, and white labeling, also SSO for those, uh, they are all available on the Metabase Pro and Enterprise plans. Um, okay. Um, great. I think that's all of our questions. That's all our polls, surveys. Um, thank you so much, Magnus, for, for being here today and for giving such a great presentation and demo. Uh, it's a little weird for me to see Metabase look like Metabase and not like Metabase, but <laughs> really cool to see it in action and, and the amazing things that you've been able to do, kind of bring all these different pieces together and, um, and make something really valuable for your customers. So yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's been a pleasure uh, talking to everyone. I hope you uh, got something out of it. Um, yeah, absolutely. And thank you everyone for attending um, and keep an eye out in your inbox for the recording of this call, which will be shared with you soon. And until next time. Take care.
Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.